Hi, this is Angie of uh, Emotional Glory. So glad that you joined me today, and I'm looking forward to this. You know, uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about is about the potter's wheel. In Jeremiah 18 and verse 2, it talks about that, uh, I'm going to read it out of the book. You can find that, of course, in the Word. But uh, in Emotional Glory, I wrote, um, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will call thee to hear my words. You know, God wants us to hear his words. He wants to speak to us. And he wants to be able to change us and to conform us into his image. Sometimes that's not without pain. Sometimes being on the potter's wheel doesn't feel very good. I know when I experienced this a few years ago, the reshaping, the renewing of my mind and my soul and my spirit, God had to make me new. And uh, that's a hard process sometimes. Sometimes we're set in our own ways and we don't understand uh, why we can't get better, why we can't get through something, or why we keep having the same thing that hinders us and affects us. Sometimes we are broken vessels that God is making new. And being on that potter's wheel and going around and around and around isn't always fun. But that's when God is making us new. And I just want to share today that you need to allow God to um, take his fingers and mold you and make you into something that he can use. He wants to use us all, whether it's me uh, doing these YouTube channels, me writing books, or what you have in your life that you can do and be something that God wants you to do. He wants to make you um, into a vessel sanctified and met for the Master's use. He wants you to be, be prepared to every good work. You know, a lot of times you'll hear other Christians say that, I can't do anything, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but God has a place for you and he wants you to um, get there. But how do we get there if we aren't made uh, in his image, if we're not allowing ourselves to be what he has called us to be? So I just want to share with you today to, to go to the word, to not be afraid to allow God to make those changes that are necessary for you. And again, he is the master. We're just the potter. And sometimes we as the pot you know, it has to be broken, has to be reshaped, has to be refined, and God wants to do that. So uh, don't be afraid to allow him to do the work in your life. And uh, and this one of my favorite scriptures is Second Timothy, I think I believe it's 2.20, that it says that he wants to sanctify us, he wants to set us apart. When God sets us apart, he doesn't just put us on a shelf never to be looked at. He wants to make us into something beautiful that other people can see. And so today, don't be afraid to allow God to change you and to make you into that something new. Perhaps you have an addiction and you think you can't get away from it. You know, maybe you smoke and that addiction has just got you so down on yourself. Don't allow it to. Um, alcoholism, you know, so many times you're fighting those addictions, the battles, the drugs, whatever it might be. Know this, that God is able to take and make you new today. Don't be afraid to give those things up and to say, God, I can't do it on my own, but you can do it through me and for me because he wants to make you and mold you into something that will bring him glory. So I just pray today that you will not be afraid to step out and say, God, use me. Take me off the shelf. Make me new. You know, one of the things that uh, I share in my book in uh, this chapter is that, you know, God doesn't... Um, make us something wonderful to put us on a shelf and never to be used for his glory. He wants us to come down off the shelf, not be afraid to step out and be what he has called you to be. You know, do that. Because he that's what he expects. He doesn't expect us to uh, just sit and do nothing. And a lot of us as Christians are doing that. But there are hurting people out there that need to see us as vessels, sanctified, that we're to be set apart. And that's another problem. We need to be willing to be set apart. Don't let the world overtake you. Because if it does, it chokes out the life that God has for you. And we don't want that. We want to be um, that shining vessel that says to others, Look at me. Jesus lives here. He lives in my heart. And I want to share that. You know, don't be afraid to do that. Um, and I hope that this has been beneficial to you today. Again, Second Timothy 2.20 that he wants to sanctify you, set you apart, and be prepared for the master's use. And uh, so go to the Word of God. Always go to the Word of God and follow your heart. Allow him to make you into something that you never dreamed. He wants to do that for you and I both.
Uh, so I do hope that today you've enjoyed this and that uh, you'll join us again here. Uh, you can always go to emotionalglory.net uh, and order my book or Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Zulon Press. You can find it all there. Uh, and I look forward to the next time that we're together. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.